Hi, I'm Ray from W Consulting and I'm here to talk to you about the amendments that were made back in December of 2011 to IS32 Financial Instruments Presentation and IFRS 7 Financial Instruments Disclosures. These amendments deal with the offsetting of financial assets and financial liabilities. And they were made as part of the convergence project between the International Accounting Standards Board and the Financial Accounting Standards Board of the US. The amendments that were made will require the disclosure of gross amounts that are subject to set off, the amounts that are actually set off, and the net credit exposure resulting. The whole point behind this is to enable users to understand the extent of set off and the effects of the rights of set off on an entity's rights and obligations. And when it comes to the, how we disclose numbers in the financial statements, we will hopefully provide greater comparability between financial statements that are prepared in accordance with international financial reporting standards and those that are prepared in accordance with US generally accepted accounting practice. Now, if you have a look at why organizations offset, a lot of organizations use offsetting as a risk management tool in order to reduce their counterparty credit risk as well as manage their liquidity risk. However, the enforceability of the rights that arise varies depending on the contract and from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Again, when you have a look at it, the application of all of this will have an impact on the size of the statement of financial position that is then reported by these organizations. If you look at where we are as, as IFRS reporters, an entity is required to present its financial assets and its financial liabilities separately in its balance sheet, unless it has the intention to set off and has the legally enforceable right to do so in the normal course of business, in the event of default and in the event of bankruptcy. When you look at what the US reporters are doing at the moment, US GARP permits organizations to set, set off their derivative assets against their derivative liabilities on their balance sheet if there is an agreement to set off, and even if that right of set off is only available in the case of bankruptcy or default. The result of all of this is that in terms of IFRS, we, have, we generally have much bigger balance sheets than what the US GARP reporters have got. If we have a look at the amendments that have been made to IS32, additional guidance has now been provided that clarifies the meaning of legally enforceable right of set off. And they also delve into the, mean, the, the definition of gross settlement systems that may be considered the equivalent of a net settlement system. We will deal with each one of these in turn. On the legally enforceable right of set off, a right of, of set off must not be contingent on any future events and it must be legally enforceable in the normal course of business of an organization. It must be legally enforceable in the event of default or in the event of insolvency or bankruptcy for the organization itself and for all its counterparties. On the manner of settlement, the entity itself must intend to either settle on a net basis or to realize the asset and settle the liability simultaneously. Now, when we're talking about simultaneous settlement, we must have a mechanism in place that eliminates or results in insignificant risk, whether it be credit risk or liquidity risk to the organization. And in the process of settlement, the process of settlement will be done in one, settle one single settlement cycle. The result of all of this is that additional disclosures will now be required when it comes to IFRS 7, that will provide information about an entity's rights of set off, and hopefully, this will all result in improved transparency on the impact that credit risk has on the reporting organization. Now, these amendments that have been made are effective for annual periods beginning on or after 1 January 2013. Application of this is fully retrospective.